Okay, so on the wiring, this is the relay, and I figured the best place to mount this, at least on the C4 Corvette, particularly the LT, well, obviously the LT1, because that's why you're putting the electric water pump in, um, right here above the battery, this seems like I drilled a little hole right here, and this seems to be a good place that I can mount the relay. And then the power right here then can mount right up exactly here on that screw right there and that will give me my constant 12 volt to the relay and then I will wire the um, green to my keyed source which I'll run through here and then I'm going to solder that in right here into the harness into the pink with the black stripe and that's where I'm gonna that is actually goes to one of the relays for the cooling fans and that'll have 12 volt only when the the uh, we're in the uh, on position so that way um, you can't wire it directly because there's never thick enough wiring to support the load that the water pumps gonna have so that's why you're running the relay um, so this should work pretty good I'm pretty confident on all the clearances and everything with the hood and this will be fairly easy to service if there's ever an issue and it makes the wiring a little shorter because then I'll run the black to ground and then the blue wire from the harness and the relay I'll run that and solder that in to my blue that goes right to the um, electric water pump alright so we got the relay mounted and then the ground and the um, accessory green wire is going through this. I put it in this little conduit here. The blue is going to go across and over to the uh, actual pump power. And this is the power with the inline fuse that's mounted right to the power block right here for the constant power. So I ran it over here, just up over the battery. And this is where you can see where I soldered it in to the um, the fan relay. Always bear to solder this kind of stuff in. So I soldered this in, so I'll seal this all back up, close up you know this harness here, and then I'll need to finish up, I'll need to add some wire to the ground and find a good place to put the ground into. I'll probably go ahead and put the ground over here where these other grounds are. And then we'll just clean it all up and we should be done. So you'll see how I ran all the, I put new braiding around it and here's my ground wire and I like to use some uh, heat shrink to kind of seal it up so corrosion doesn't get in there and you can see I took the bolt off or the uh, self tapping screw and these are some other grounds and I'm just going to put it, add it with these and then clean up this little area so there's a nice good ground there and reattach everything. Okay you can see, tighten up the bolt so there's the ground wire going in then we'll clean this up here and get that part back together and then add some more wrap around these then this side will be done and then all we got left is the uh, blue power line going to the pump everything is now finally wired up the blue wire that was coming off the relay is running back here in this uh, conduit here and you see it coming out here I haven't put that in its conduit yet just so you could see the blue and that runs all the way over here and then into the uh, water pump so hook the battery back up and you can see where the final hookup is of the relay and we can turn the car to on and you can hear the pump running so it works we'll just clean up everything and I think it's good to have make it all look nice and factory with some conduit this conduit is a lot better than the factory stuff and it comes from uh, painless wiring uh, which makes everything look really nice and it's fairly easy to work with and that's what's all back here this is like the factory stuff and this is the stuff from painless wiring so fairly okay project definitely the wiring was worse than actually mounting the uh, water pump that water pump was really nothing to to install uh, compared to the rest of it so that's it thank you